my name is Miriam. Hi, I'm Meredith. And today we will be making potato masher corn. So what you'll need for this is yellow paint, orange paint, brown paint, three bowls or plates to put your paint in, potato mashers, they can be homemade or an actual potato masher. We have cups with string on the end as our homemade potato mashers. Two white strips of paper for the corn. And four green strips of paper for the corn leaves. Something to stamp um, your corns on top of. So it could be a piece of paper, newspaper. And then finally, some tape. You can use regular tape or scotch tape or duct tape, whatever makes the most sense to you. Alrighty, so first you'll grab your paint and your bowls and put the paint into one color into each of the bowls. And I'm going to put the yellow paint in the bowl. The yellow paint reminds me of the, some leaves when they're changing, when they change to yellow on the trees. Oh, that's perfect fall. for fall. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. It reminds me of a Tweety Bird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe corn before it dies in, in the fall. That's true. And if you get some paint on your fingers um, while you're pouring the paint into the bowl, that's okay. Go ahead and feel how it feels. I got some paint on my fingers and it feels nice and smooth. I really smooth. like how it feels. It's a little wet. Yeah. And then it dries once it's um, smeared onto my fingers. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to take the orange paint and pour it into the bowl. The orange reminds me of pumpkins. Oh, it reminds me of carrots. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're talking about food. We must be hungry. <laughs> yeah. All righty, so now that we have our paint in our bowls, next grab your brown sheet of paper and just bend it around. What does it feel like? It's super easy to bend. Mm -hmm. um, it's floppy. Yeah, it is very floppy. It makes a sound when I take it like this. Yes. Okay. And once you're done playing with your brown sheet of paper, you can set it flat on your table because it's going to be your background for your corn. Then you'll grab your white corn. So now that um. We have gotten our corn. We're going to put sheets of paper underneath our corn so that we can stamp them and not make a mess. But it's okay if you get messy. What color do you want to start with? Ooh, let's start with yellow. There you go. Awesome. I'm going to start with orange. Awesome. Thank you. There you go. So we're going to dip, it in, dip the end of the cup into the paint. Get some paint on the string. And then once you have your paint on the string, you'll just stamp it onto the white corner and then pick it right up. This is what mine looks like so far. The little yellow streaks. And here's mine. It's got orange on it. Ooh, yours looks great. Thank you. Yours too. Thank you. I'm going to stamp my other corn now. Would you like the yellow? Sure. Thank you, you want the orange? Awesome. Remember to share with your friends. Um, so once you're done with one color, you can switch over to another one. So it's going to be the same process. You'll take your cup, stamp it into the paint, and then press onto your white corn. Ooh, so next we've got brown. I'm going to do some brown now. Dip it in the paint. When I press the cup down, the paint feels smushy. Oh, it does. Would you like the brown? Yeah. Thanks. 
Do you mind putting my orange away? Sure. Awesome. So I'm gonna do the same thing. It does feel smushy. <laughs> All right, so I'll press it on to my corn. I love your pattern. Oh, thank you. I love your pattern too. It's very cool. Thank you. And then once you're done, you can look at your corn and see how it came out. Here's my corn. Be careful picking it out because the paint is still wet. I'm not sure I can pick it up right now. <laughs> it's stuck to my paper. Oh, it's okay. No. Here we go. There's the corn. I really like how yours came out. Thank you. Yours too. Thanks. I used a lot of paint. Yeah. And you used a smaller amount of paint. Yeah. Both are both are great. You can use as much paint or as little paint as you would like. Then once you're done stamping and admiring your beautiful corn, you can put it to the side and grab your brown piece of paper. So this will be the back of your corn. Grab some tape. I'm gonna use this regular scotch tape. And I'm gonna use ma um, masking tape here. And then fold your piece of tape over and place it onto your paper where you'll be placing the two corn. The tape is sticky. It is really sticky. And it's easy to tear out with the little ridges on the tape. Yeah. Makes a sound. Ooh. I squeeze it between my fingers. My tape is clear. And mine's not clear. It's more yellow. Ooh. Now this is the tricky part. If your corn is too wet to place onto the paper, you can wave. Or if it's um, you have area to put on your corn, you can stick it on top of the tape and press down. I'm going to press my corn down. You can stick it on one side of the paper like I did, right in the middle, or wherever you would like. Just remember, you're going to place two corns on the paper, so you want to have enough space for both. I flipped mine horizontally, but you can also do it vertically. So I'm gonna tape my first corn down, and then I'm gonna grab the corn stalks and put some tape on the back of another one. Oh, it looks like you did yours. Whoa, yours is so cool. I put my leaves on, and then I put my corn over top. But you can also put your corn down and then put your leaves on top. I think I'm gonna do it that way for the next one. Oh, cool. On the other side of the corn. So here's my first corn. I love it. Oh, that looks thank great. You. Your corn looks great too. Thank you. two different colors and I also have a big leaf on this corn and a small leaf. Different sizes, different shapes, just like in real corn because yeah. not everything is shaped the same. That's so all got different shapes. I really like how yours came out. Thank you. I'm liking how yours is coming too. Thanks. I'm going to tape my last corn onto my sheet and then I'm almost done. What can you, um, where are you going to hang your corn? I think I'm going to hang this on my wall. Okay. So when I look at it, I can re remind myself of fall colors Ooh. and things that I like to eat with that have corn in them. What do you like to eat that has corn in it? Um, sometimes I have tacos <gasps> with corn on top of Ooh, them. Ooh, that sounds tasty. Mm -hmm. And in the summer, I like to eat corn on the cob that's grilled on the grill. That's, that's tasty. That sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. You have to send me the recipe. Yeah. I just finished my corn. Great. Once you're done taping your corn down, you can put it on the side to let the paint dry. And then you're good to go. 
Um, I think I'm gonna put my corn in the bathroom because it'll yeah. be a nice decoration. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us, and I hope you had fun making your potato masher corn. See you next time. Bye. Bye.